Military analysts say a new missile under development by India could remain extremely difficult to counter well into the next decade. Designed to operate at hypersonic speeds and low altitudes, it targets a critical weakness in modern air defense networks. The system drawing this attention is BrahMos-2. The global defense community is now closely watching India's progress on the BrahMos-2 hypersonic cruise missile as work on the next-generation weapon gathers space. Jointly developed by India and Russia, BrahMos-2 is designed to push the boundaries of speed, precision, survivability, and deterrence far beyond what current cruise missiles can achieve. Defense experts say this is not just an upgrade, it is a generational leap. The existing BrahMos missile, already in service with India's armed forces, has proven its combat credibility. During Operation Sindur, BrahMos missiles were used with devastating precision against Pakistani targets. Defense officials say the missile performed exactly as designed, successfully bypassing air defense systems supplied to Pakistan by China. That operation, planners believe, validated BrahMos as one of the world's most effective supersonic cruise missiles. But BrahMos-2 is being designed to go much further. According to defense sources, the current BrahMos travels at speeds between Mach 2.8 and Mach 3, flying at extremely low altitudes, often skimming close to the sea surface. This flight profile makes early detection extremely difficult, even for advanced radar networks. BrahMos-2, however, is expected to exceed Mach 7, reaching speeds of around 8,500 km per hour. At those speeds, the interception becomes exponentially more difficult, even for the most advanced air defense systems in existence. BrahMos-2 has been conceptualized as a hypersonic weapon of the future. This ultramodern weapon, infused with intricate technologies, highly sophisticated design, smart materials and other high-end features, would be developed to keep pace with rapid revolutions in military technology worldwide. One of the defining aspects of BrahMos-2 would be the development of an air-breathing scramjet engine technology, which would propel the missile to a top-notch speed of Mach 5 and above. The missile's immense destructive power released by its sheer kinetic energy would make BrahMos-2 an ultra-lethal weapon of its time. Military analysts point out that intercepting BrahMos-2 would be a challenge even for sophisticated systems like the S-400. The same S-400 systems, which successfully neutralized Pakistani missile threats during recent military operations, yet hypersonic threats remain a different category altogether. A senior official from BrahMos Aerospace has stated that, even if adversaries significantly upgrade their radars, sensors, and space-based tracking systems, neutralizing BrahMos-2 will remain extremely difficult for at least the next 10 years. Its combination of speed, low-altitude flight, maneuverability, and guidance precision keeps it ahead of countermeasures. Another major leap comes in range. While the current BrahMos has an operational range of about 290 km, defense sources say newer variants are being developed with ranges of 450 km and eventually up to 900 km. This dramatically expands India's strike envelope, allowing targets to be engaged from much farther away while staying outside hostile air defense bubbles. Officials confirm that BrahMos-2 will be capable of multi-platform deployment, launched from land, sea, air, and submarines. This gives India a true cross-domain deterrent, ensuring survivability and flexibility in any conflict scenario. This makes BrahMos-2 not just a weapon, but a strategic deterrent system. Defense specialists say the first test flight of BrahMos-2 is tentatively expected around 2028. Once operational, it will place India among a very small group of nations with credible hypersonic cruise missile capability. Even if neighboring adversaries deploy advanced gallium nitride-based ESA radars and next-generation interceptors, tracking and intercepting BrahMos missiles will remain a serious challenge well into the 2030s. With both supersonic and hypersonic variants in development, BrahMos is expected to remain a cornerstone of India's retaliatory strike capability for decades. Defense industry experts often point to lessons from the Russia-Ukraine conflict to explain why high-speed and low-flying cruise missiles are so difficult to stop. Russia's P-800 Onyx missile, considered a technological predecessor of BrahMos, has proven extremely hard to intercept, 
even against advanced Western-supplied air defense systems. Experts say BrahMos 2 is being designed to exploit the same vulnerabilities, speed, altitude, and reaction time, but at an even more advanced level. BrahMos 2 represents more than just a missile upgrade, it signals a strategic shift in India's deterrence doctrine. By combining hypersonic speed, low-altitude penetration, extended range, and multi-platform launch capability, BrahMos 2 is designed to exploit the most difficult problem for modern air defense systems, the reaction time. Military analysts suggest that, as air defense networks become more complex and expensive, offensive systems like BrahMos 2 force adversaries into a costly and uncertain race, one they may struggle to win for years. With its proven performance in real combat, its planned hypersonic evolution, and its relevance projected well into the 2030s, BrahMos is no longer just a missile program, it has become a core pillar of India's strategic strike capability. And with BrahMos 2 on the horizon, India is preparing to operate in a battle space where very few defenses can keep up. Stay tuned, as India's hypersonic leap reshapes the balance of power, and subscribe to Indic News Cafe for sharp, credible defense and geopolitical analysis.